Welcome to Go Airhead's rental department. This video will show you all the options you have for renting from Go Airheads. Please pay full attention to the rules to ensure that your gun performs well and will need to be followed exactly to help avoid any fees from damaging our rentals. Improper use of our rentals may lead to the rental being taken back with no refund and could even lead to additional fees. First, let's look at our standard rental gun. Yours may look slightly different than this, but all should operate almost identically. All rental guns should be given to you with a barrel bag on and magazine out, as this is our staging area policy. If it does not look identical to this one, while you are inside of our staging area, you will be given a strike. If you receive three strikes, we will have to kick you out for safety purposes and we cannot give you a refund. In addition to this, the trigger should never be pulled inside of our staging area and the gun should be left on safe. In order to ensure the gun is on safe, you will need to turn the switch on the left hand side of the gun to point at safe. This will not allow the gun to fire if the trigger is accidentally touched. The next mode is semi-auto, which means it will shoot one BB per trigger pull. This mode is with the switch pointed straight up. This mode will be used when engaging enemies within 20 feet. Keep in mind the gun is battery operated, so it is possible if you have a quick trigger finger or the battery is getting low for the gun to lock up. If this happens, please flip the gun into fully automatic, which is with the switch pointed towards the back of the gun, give it a couple second bursts, and then flip it back into semi-automatic, which is vertical. And you should be able to fire again. Fully automatic is indicated by pointing the switch to the back of the rifle. This will be a non-stop stream of BBs until you let go of the trigger. That being said, five round burst, let go, five round burst, let go. Please do not hold the trigger down for extensive amounts of time, as this will melt the motor in the pistol grip causing damage to the gun. The second is so you can keep your magazine fully wound in order to feed ammo into your gun so it does not start skipping shots. To load ammo into your gun, you must press the magazine release on the right hand side of your gun. You will press this button while also pulling down on the magazine to get it out of the gun. This is a standard M4 high cap magazine. It holds 300 rounds and is loaded from the top by opening the latch and putting BBs in from there. If you have a bag, it is easiest to take your magazine and bury it inside of the bag. You will then scoop over until the magazine is full. Once it is full, remove the magazine and close the latch on top. Immediately seal the bag because any ammo that falls out on the table or ground is no longer allowed to be used. Once the magazine is filled, look at the winding wheel on the bottom. It winds in one direction only and cannot be wound backwards. Winding this wheel forces BBs up and into the gun. This will need to be fully wound in order for the gun to feed BBs effectively and should be consistently rewound on the field in the gun. This will need to be fully wound in order for the gun to feed BBs effectively and should be constantly rewound while on the field. Rewind every few shots to ensure feeding reliability. When inserting the magazine into the gun, make sure to tap the magazine into the gun to make sure it is fully seated in the gun. This will be checked by pulling lightly on the magazine after inserting it to make sure it does not fall out of the gun and get lost. Moving to the back of the gun, you will find the stock. This can be adjusted back and forth to your comfort while holding the lever down. Sliding the stock till it feels comfortable and then releasing the lever, making sure it clicks into place. Keep in mind the battery and wires are housed in the stock. If you ever feel much resistance pulling or pushing the stock, do not force it. You could do serious damage to the wires. Instead, ask an employee for assistance. The most important thing to notice is the serial number. At the time of renting, you will be issued a serial specific gun and you must come back with that serial specific gun. If you bring back anything else, unfortunately, we cannot accept it. Pro-level rifles operate in an identical manner. The differences are that they typically are full metal, have a higher rate of fire, have a higher FPS, and have tighter trigger groups at a range. We offer this as a great way to see the difference of quality between different price points and guns, and to more easily compete with the regulars that come out to go airheads. Finally, we have our Polar Star Rentals. 
These are hand-tuned, high-end performing guns that will perform at the top 5% of guns on the field. These guns are not battery powered, but instead work off of high pressure air that you fill an HPA bottle attached to the gun. This package will include not only the gun and air system for the gun, but will also include a vest rental package, a bottle of 0.28 gram BBs, and unlimited all day air so that you can refill at the front shop by showing your all day air pass. This is the ultimate combo deal for new players who want to dominate on the field. This is our standard rental mask. You must wear this eye protection on the field at all times and never take it off while on the field. This is very dangerous. On the back side, you have two plastic tabs. You can pull them together to tighten or you can pull them apart to loosen. Your mask may or may not come with a chin strap. If they are there and you would like to use them, feel free to do so. Please double check the lenses to make sure there are no cracks or deformities on the mask or lens. This is the Go Airheads Rental Vest Package. This will be included in all Polar Star rental packages. It is issued with one extra high capacity magazine, one extra CO2 cartridge in the breast pocket, and one non-blowback CO2 pistol magazine. One CO2 non-blowback pistol, and finally, one handheld flashlight for any night game events. Please check that all these are in your vest at the time you rent it. If there is a patch on the vest, consider it complimentary and feel free to take this home with you at the end of the day. To operate your CO2 pistol, you must put it in your right hand, extend your index finger forward, and you will meet the safety. If you see white, that means the gun is in safe and cannot be fired. If you push it in and pull it back, you will see red. That means that the gun is ready to fire if you pull the trigger. On the left hand side of the gun is the magazine release. Pushing it in will eject the magazine and then you can pull it out the rest of the way. To load the magazine, you will first pull the follower all the way down until it locks into place. Once it locks, it will reveal a hole near the bottom of the magazine where you can put BBs in. Once it is full, unlock the follower by pressing it forwards. You may then reinsert the magazine into the gun, ensuring the magazine is facing forward. When removing magazines from any airsoft gun, it is normal for one to three BBs to fall out. Please make sure that these are not in the way when you put the magazine back in or else it may cause a jam in the gun. To reload the gun with CO2, open the back strap, unscrew the bottom screw, take the old CO2 out and throw it in the trash. Insert your new CO2 cartridge Tighten the screw until there is no hissing sound, and then close the back strap. As a final reminder, all BBs must be biodegradable and you must not use any BBs found on the ground. You can also not use any BBs that weigh less than 0.20 grams. These will jam and destroy our guns. You are responsible for any lost, stolen, or damaged equipment. If you have any questions or issues with the equipment, please come back and ask for help. Lastly, Thanks for coming to Go Airheads and enjoy the rest of your day.